Okay, so um, one of the common requests that I see and that I get, and I just, you know, I'm not going to charge people for this kind of work, but I can't do it for free, so let me uh, <laughs> let me show you a quick and easy way to change this very sterile looking um, uh, design here that you get with the thesis installed to uh, give it a little bit of a feel for a page. So what we'll do here is we'll go over to, uh, we'll be in the page framework, then um, in our custom file editor, we're going to, I've, I've kind of cheated here because I didn't want you to have to wait for me to type this out, we'll add uh, three whole lines here that will uh, give us a little flavor to the site. So this will be uh, a background color, which I've kind of showed you in earlier uh, sessions how to do that. Here we're going to introduce um, the page. So we're going to give dot custom page a background color of its own and a border. And this is a shortcut for the border tag, but it's sort of two pixels wide, a solid border, and uh, this is the color black. So save this and reload. Now we have uh, what looks more like a web page because we've got the contrast from uh, this to this, and if, and if you say, well, that gray looks kind of bad, let's just go back to white. And then I would change the page color back to white. And so I'd have my gray background, my black border, and my white page. And that starts to feel a little bit more like a web page. So that's how you do that with the um, full page width. Now, if you're, I'm sorry, with the with the um, HTML framework, set the page framework. If we're at full width framework, then um, what you'll see is that we lose our border. This is defaulting back to the thesis options of white, and we're still picking up our page, our uh, custom background color. Because when we go into the full width framework, this custom page is no longer meaningful. This still is, but this is not. So we'll comment him out. Oops. And we'll to uncomment this section. And cheating a little bit here by preloading this. So I'll save that. And what you're going to see is that now we can control the background color the header, content, and footer area here. Again, I've shown you this in earlier lessons. And then now I control the background color for the page in that particular section. So when we first pull this up, this is going to look the same. The page color is going to be the same. See, it's all the same. But actually, we've got three different variables here. We've got our header, content, and footer pages. What you will notice, too, doesn't look so good here is that the um, each section now has its own border, which you may or may not want. I don't particularly like that. So um, what's happened is it's picking up and giving a full four-sided border to each section, and we can uh, change that by changing the CSS. So just to give you a quick understanding what we're changing. So the content area, let's just make that background color white. And we'll make uh, this here um, kind of a mix. Now we have our gray top, white content area, and then kind of this uh, light gray footer area. Our background still the same, and our borders are there. So that's a uh, quick look at how you can control different layouts. And if we want to make those borders go away, uh, what we could do is change this to zero 